Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Let's Play Earthbound, and uh, as it turns out, I've already fucked up playing the game, and we're not even like 10 episodes into this. But yeah, I've, uh, I just took Pippi to the hospital, and she's all okay now. Which is definitely a good thing, because I don't want to bring her back to her mom like, uh, ma'am? Mrs. Pippi's mom? Uh, you know how you sent me, you, well, I mean, implied that I should save your daughter, kind of? Well, I mean, I did that, but along the way, I did, I might have kind of got her accidentally murdered. <laughs> But yeah, um, I was looking at my little cheat sheet again to, you know, try trying to see where, I, where like I'm supposed to go because I'm gonna be honest, it's, it's been a while since I've really played through this game, and it turns out that I wasn't supposed to go down to the cemetery just yet. I was actually supposed to make it down to uh, Canary Village to get the uh, second out of eight melodies. Yeah, I leveled up and I didn't even really pay attention to that. Ugh, God, Pippi, why is your house so far away? Hey, girl! You're back and safe. Where the fuck have you been? Why were you in a cemetery? God, you're so morbid. I need to take you to therapy. The town mayor is way- Oh, Jesus. Uh, go with him and help straighten shit out. Uh, I mean, it's good that you trust me, ma'am. I mean, I mean, it's not good that you're just blatantly neglecting your child, but I mean, it's it's good that you trust me, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna go down to uh, this corrupt mayor's office and see what he wants. So wait a minute, I thought he didn't know who that girl was. I mean, if that's the case, then how did he get in contact with, with her mom? I mean, maybe I'm just kind of being nitpicky over here, but I don't know. Just pointing out flawed logic in here. I did, no, I talked to this bitch. I'll share this secret with you. What secret? What is the secret? Why are you not telling me? Why does it have to be later? Alright, I'll talk to this guy who doesn't have a mouth, I guess. Is she the lost girl Pippi? Nah, she's some girl I found, her, I found on the street, but I thought, you know, you'd take good care of her. I mean, you do have a considerable amount of money, seeing as that, you know, you're in politics, and typically politicians make uh, pretty good salaries for, I don't know, the rest of their lives. I knew that you could fulfill your civic duty. Now, pretty Pippi, don't forget... <laughs> to tell your mom that the mayor saved you. Oh, dear God. Prize of a hundred. A hundred what? A hundred dollars? A hundred what? By the way, hero. Maybe you'd like to go and see what's up at the zoo. Oh, my God. Fucking really? You're not, you're not really paying me. I mean, I guess you just paid me a hundred dollars, maybe. But now I have to go on more rants for you? What is this bullshit? You know what? No. Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god, I, I, I just told him no, and he says, Oh, you'll go! Awesome! <laughs> Get the key from the assistant Abbott. So wait, I just fucking leave her there? Hey, why? <sighs> god, it's some heroism for me. Now it's time to say goodbye. Please come by my house, I'll be waiting there to see you again if the mayor doesn't do anything horrible to me. By the way, do you think my hair needs styling? Nah. Wait, if I didn't have to answer, then why did you ask me? Ah, I see. Fishing for compliments. <sniffs> Typical Pippi. But hey, on the bright side, I mean, at least we've, uh, kind of, at least we've, uh, you know, stopped making the necrophilia jokes. For now. <sighs> but then again. Whoever said that they were just jokes? Ugh. Yeah, leave a like and a comment and, you know, maybe a subscription. And share this video if you thought that was 
unnecessarily creepy. Okay, so yeah. Um, up, okay, it's up here where I have to go to the uh, Canary Village. Awesome. Damn it. Stop lagging! Stop! Stop it! No hunting or, or approaching. No hunting approaching. So I'm not allowed to approach things? I mean, is it because it's potentially a danger to me? I mean, I've never. I, like, I've never seen anything in the papers about, like, canaries murdering people. It honestly sounds like, you know, some kind of a really bad uh, B movie that's out there somewhere. God damn, how far is this? You know, I noticed how it says, like, how it just says, like, the appro the uh, the hippie approached me and whatnot. Not that it attacked me. What if this whole time I'm just making, like, bad assumptions and, and just randomly just beating the fuck out of hippies? I don't know, I mean, I'm still kind of leaning back to that, uh, you know, conservative agenda here. I mean, who produced this thing, Ann Coulter? Hey, damn it, get over, stab it, stab, oh my fucking god. Something tells me that this canary does not want to talk to me. Oh yeah, fu yeah, yeah, thank thanks for the uh, conversation, I finally catch up to you, and you don't say shit to me. Now I can see why you guys have no visitors, you don't fucking put up any good, oh my god, will you come here? You don't put up any good conversation, and not to mention, you, you freaking lead people to chase you around. And for what? Nothing! <sighs> God. Alright, so... I am I'm now supposed to find this, uh, this canary named Laura. Why she has a name, I don't know, and... Oh, look at that, a person. The only person who lives here. That canary... This is the singing Laura. How do you wait? How do you know that? Will you return her? No, I no, I shall sell it to the circus. Wait, you just missed something very important. Fine, what do you have to tell me? Ruining my opportunities to make money and shit. Where is a okay? So, if you can identify the child of a, of a very particular giant bird thing. Then why is it that you have no idea where that giant bird thing is in the first place? I mean, I would think that, you know, these guys are pretty no- Oh yeah, I can't get away- Oh, god damn it. Thought that was maybe her. Jesus, it's just like dating in real life. You try and talk to girls and all they ever do is just run away from you. <sighs> Fucking Jesus. You know what? I'm not even gonna bother with you guys. Just gotta be around here. Oh, oh, no, great! Now you're blocking my way. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. All right. Th All right. At least now you're being kind of courteous. All right. What do you got to say? To say. Well, you're help. Uh, damn it! Stop it! Let me get past you guys. Yeah. Okay. That's the way out. Yeah, I just went in a circle. All right. All right. Whatever. Whatever. No big deal. No big deal. But, um, you guys know, like, in the sequel to this, in the library, kids are not allowed to check out books. I mean, what kind of bullshit is that? I mean, isn't that kind of, like, discouraging people to read in general? I mean, that's how you get kids to like reading in the first place. You get to, them to fucking read at a young age. But hey, I mean, I'm just a dumb 22-year-old, so what do I know, right? How the fuck do I? How do how do I get over? Oh wait a minute! Oh, I remember now. There's a little secret passageway behind this thing. Yeah, there we go. See, I remember a few things from this. But yeah, speaking of, oh, she's right there. God, f ah. Okay, I guess I gotta use the uh, canary chick. Remember the tune. Uh, uh, all right. I've never seen a parent do that before, but all right. Is that like? Do they like sing everything in like their own language in order to communicate? 
Maybe that's how it is for canaries. I don't know. I'm not a zoologist. Maybe that maybe that beautiful, pleasant singing was like canary for Where the fuck have you been? I have been worried sick! I've called the police and they haven't an answered because I don't know, in this area for some reason police aren't really very responsive. So he had to have some random kid in a red cap go around and do every little thing for us. Alright, now, now, now I gotta find my way out of this place. Where do I go? Why do these canaries keep blocking me? Get out of my way! But yeah, actually the other day, like as strange as it sounds, I was at the library in my, in my township on an errand to try and pick up a recycling bin. Yeah, it seems really weird, but um... People, people around town were telling me, like, you know, like, go to the library, because, um, the library in my township... Oh, shit, that's my phone, I guess. Ugh! Just let me do my shit. Yeah, the Earth is, is at stake. I don't have time to sleep, Dad. But yeah, anyway, um, it's because my library... Is is a uh, part of like a much bigger like general community building and apparently that's where you can go for for uh, I don't know just general just general stuff for the town I guess and I asked them about that and um, they said oh you know for that you have to go to like a different part of the building and by then like I was really tired and I was only running out of like a few hours of sleep and so I kind of just decided you know what fuck it I'll just do it some other time and um, I actually picked up a pretty good book um, some of you on my Facebook have already heard about this but I've been reading this book called um, The Time Machine by H.G. Wells and I finally managed to put the damn thing down I mean it was barking a lot and it kept me up all night and I just didn't like it, and I kind of wanted to test out my new rifle anyway, but, oh god, wait a minute. Uh, I really gotta quit doing that. I gotta quit, you know, mixing up good books with my neighbor's dog. <laughs> god, what is wrong with me? But yeah, um, until uh, next time we might, you know, go up to the zoo and see what kind of shit's going down. Alright, see you guys later.